Hello, how are you doing today? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu in Open Source. Today I want to show you Skippy. It has an expose effect in LXDE and XFCE like uh, desktop environments and is very lightweight. We have our task manager up here. Let me sort this. As you can see, Skippy XD is not using very much memory at all. It's only using approximately 57 and a half megabytes. So it's lightweight. So here's the website, ubuntu.me slash tip dash skippy slash let's just go to the home page the home page is ubuntu.me this is where you can download ubuntu in in its ports Uh, as you know, Ubuntu may be, uh, LXDE is one of my more favorite desktop environments to to be using. And as you can see, there's a port for Raspberry Pi, and there's ports for uh, PowerPC. Uh, this port, PowerPC, is for the uh, G3, 4, and 5. Desktop Mac is for the uh, Intel version. But this, as you can see, this is uh, version 1404 long term support. But as you can see, this is here for uh, 1604 as well, LTS. Your uh, G3, G4, G5 PowerPC. Uh, 32-bit desktop, 64-bit desktop, and with the uh, alternative uh, installs, you can either directly download it or use a uh, torrent. So if we click on tips and tricks, as you can see, there's Skippy XD. Just click on it, follow the instructions, copy, and paste in, hit your enter key. Um, as you can see, I already have my Skippy running, so I'm not going to do this all over again. But I'm going to show you the steps here. And as you can see, there's a sudo command. So after each one, you'd have to put in your uh, password. Then you would run this, hit enter, run it. So that would be the application installed. Now there's some configuration files you'd have to do. Now they say in your terminal, do this. But if you're not comfortable with doing that, you can open your file manager, view hidden, show hidden, click on config, that's the first slash is here, then you go to the open box folder, and this would be the file. Now I made a backup. Always make a backup. Open with leaf pad. Move this to the right so you can see everything. And so we want to find the line right here. Highlight everything except the quotes. 
Only start with the brackets and end with the brackets. The quotes aren't in the uh, file that we're, we're going to edit. Search, find, paste, then click on find. And there we go. Now you see there's no quotes in the file here that we're config, uh, editing. And right here you can see my edit. You just copy all this. And you would paste it in right here. Now if you have nothing there, you hit the enter key, then you would paste. That's what you would do if you are uh, to copy and paste. I'm going to close mine out. Do I want to save changes? No, because I already have mine. And so this here, key bind key, the capital W and the lowercase w, the capital W is the super key and the lowercase w is the just a keyboard w. As you can see down here in the bottom right, there I am pressing my Windows key. Why am I showing you this? Because in the open box wiki here, you can change your key combination here. Capital S for the shift, C for the control, capital C, I mean, capital A for the alt, W key, capital W for the super key. Meta and hyper key, I don't know about those. Those go a little bit beyond me. And so you can edit this file, which I closed. I don't think I changed anything. No, I didn't. Okay. It's down here somewhere. Here we go. Start. Okay, so the key combination here. I'm going to change mine to capital C for control. File, save. Open box restart. I'm going to restart it. Now, as you can see in the bottom right, I'm clicking on my control key. Then it would be W. And there you go. That's how you change your key combination. I like mine on the super window, uh, the super key. So I'm going to change it back. Here I go again. I'm pressing my super key. And W. And there we go. So there you go. Skippy with the expose effect for your LXDE XFCE type desktops. Thank you.